Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124 and welcome once again to uh, the first, what well, August I'll just call it, the second part of the finale of Dragon Ball Super One's Let's Play of Super Mario 3D World. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much, I want to get right into it after this, but anyway, we'll be doing Champions Road, as I said in the previous short video that had fail in it. This time I'm not going to talk as much and only point out key things as well as the three green stars and the stamp that are in the level. Also, these are, uh, enemies are called Octa Goombas. They're from Gal Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. And both those games, all you have to do is stop on them to uh, kill them, but in this game, you have to freaking ground hunt to kill them, which is, makes them a lot more known than they were originally. I wish Nintendo would not have done that with the Octa Goombas. But anyway. First arrow is Sharpton Chucks. So this is the beat block area of the level. Thankfully, there's not flip panels in this like there is in the one in Super Mario 3D Land, the final level in that game. Now, this is the trick I meant to show off in the previous video. Also, there's Green Star number one. Here comes a session with fire bars, magic koopas, and dissolving platforms. I know there's so many times I know right where the Grand Koopa spawn when they move from their original uh, starting places. Anyway, I'm going to be slowing down a bit here and not being quite so pro, uh, skillful to show you guys a trick to make this part easier. Have the super cat bells, I like to call it, the red cat bell. You can get rid of these stupid things so you don't have to worry about them damaging you. You can also go through the fuzzies and possibly even kill them. Now I want to show off how you're intended to do this part of the level. You're intended to grab this piranha plant right here and not die. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, anyway, I'm not going to restart this time because I saw the Tanuki Leaf and I showed off, at least showed off, um, using the red Super Cat Bell to destroy those platforms if they get to become an annoyance. So. Unfortunately, I don't have the other cat ball to switch to, though, because I like to have two Tanuki leaves. This is a part later on in the level where I like to, like, allow myself to take damage if I can. So, hopefully I can make this work. <laughs> and I'm going to be quiet now so I can put in full concentration and continue to point out key things when I come to them. Three green stars and stamp in this level are very easy. The level itself is less difficult, but the green stars and stamp are very easy because they give them right to you within these sections. But anyway, I'm going to try and do this in ten the intended way. Now that I have Tanuki, I can just flow. You're intended to have to eat those, have this eat those, the spawner plant eat those fuzzies. I repeated myself two or three times there because I'm needing to concentrate because I do not want to take damage from these things. You're also intended to do that with all these fuzzies. I could do that, but I'm just going to use Snoopy to jump over them because seriously, I don't want a chance to die and try to do this the intended way. I showed you guys the main basic idea of how you're intended to do that. That's all that matters. Anyway, this is the part where I like to have a, like, have a second Tanuki handy in case I take damage from these stupid things so I don't have to keep going back and forth with this wall jumping and have it take 10 years. 10 years is an over-exaggeration. And I took damage and lost Tanuki, which is not good because it's kind of vital before the part coming up. Not the very next part coming up, but the final part of the level. Anyway, that last section was the climbing section, and this is climbing up these uh, sleeping piranha plants. And here's an underwater section. This level is kind of a breather from what you've seen before. The reason, main reason they have all these spiked things here is to prevent people from using the cat suit to cheaply ignore this entire part of the level. Like, by ignore, I mean skip over this entire section of the level. Like, of course, it's intended to be difficult, but they have all, all this stuff here in 
like didn't go light, lighter on it, so you can't use the cat suit to cheaply climb up here. Now there is a way with peaching or floating you can get up here and bypass all this this entire water section, but I don't know how to do it. If I could show it, if I could do do it, with, well, I know how to do it, but I can't do it with the crap. If I could do it with the crap, I would definitely show it off, but it's not going to be. Hopefully, I can beat it this time. It's very nice to have Tanuki here, and unfortunately, I lost. It. And I died. Well, anyway, guys, I'd like to say I'll see you back at that point, but I guess this will just be a failed video on my channel. I hate having so many failed videos, especially because I don't want to run out of space with my SD cards. But anyway, guys, I will see you. Well, you'll have already seen the other actual videos, so shut up, Todd. I'm not trying to breathe on you. Bye, everybody.